this is Bhavna and you're watching India today. If you have watched the Archies on Netflix, I'm sure you know who Vidang Raina already is. He was one of the best performers in the film and today I'm very glad to be joined by Vidang right here on India today. So let's welcome Vidang first. A huge welcome Vidang. How are you? Hi, I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. I had been waiting for this opportunity like yeah. I said that yeah. you were one of the one of those actors whose performance was really revered once Thank the you. film was out Thank so you. Uh, but you know first for someone who is just getting used to all the praise that is coming your way what what were the first two days like as soon as the film dropped on Netflix was it like a immediate change in the way people are sort of approaching you the kind of text you were getting from fans and also people from the industry uh, yeah it was really overwhelming because uh, i mean this release, uh, I knew it was going to happen, and I knew like people gonna people mm. are gonna see me for the first time. I'm gonna be out there in this new space for the first time, but I didn't expect the reaction that came my way, and I'm just I, I just felt extremely overwhelmed. It was so much to kind of like see and and um, so much love coming my yeah. way. So I'm, I just feel blessed and I feel lucky to have gotten this opportunity and and to be appreciated for what I did. But you know always an actor is always greedy in the way that they are looking for compliments where they are, their performance is really being appreciated, right? Your, there was a premiere which was attended by the who's and who of, from the industry. There was also obviously a premiere that happened internationally. But is there a compliment which really stayed with you and which really like sort of meant the world to you amid everything else that was coming your way? Yeah. At the, so the premiere for me was like basically the release of the film, yeah. okay? Because you, I knew that the people that are going to come there, the whole industry is going to see it. It's out there for a large section yeah. of people to kind of watch. And uh, one of the most full circle moments was um, uh, Rithik, Rithik Roshan. He came to me after the premiere and said you were really good in the film. Wow. So I think that one really meant a lot to me. And also so many messages that I've received from so many people and um, they've said the nicest things ever <laughs> and how it's how certain scenes have impacted hmm. their lives and how um, you know it's it's really uh, it's so rewarding as an artist for for people to appreciate so, something that you did and True. Uh, having um, that that um, you know people saying that they 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 love something that you've done yeah so I think I'm, I'm just grateful because I remember there are two scenes in particular which stood out for me and in both the scenes you are featured uh, alongside Yuvraj. One is of course that scene where you kind of understand uh, his feelings and you very politely but in the best way possible respecting the other person's feelings said that you know I understand how you feel but unfortunately I don't feel the same about you. I think that yeah. was handled and portrayed in the most sensitive way possible. Can you tell me what was your approach because you know as young artists it can be a little little daunting to portray scenes which can involve a lot of sensitivity as well. Uh, both you and Yuvraj, did you like sort of work on that scene in a different way? What was your approach? Um, the story of that scene is so special because I remember it was one of the only few times shooting for a film. I think as an actor you, you feel certain days whether it's 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 the environment on set yeah. or just you know the lights are a certain way or the atmosphere is a certain way and you just feel a bit different when you do a scene and that was one of those days I, I remember right after we shot the scene I told um, we, uh, Yuvraj and I spoke and I, I said you know that felt different that felt magical and he felt the exact same way and um, it was the last scene of the day and it was in Mauritius and it was at night and it was a small crew and it you know, it, it just felt different and felt nice. And um, it, for me, it was obviously one one scene of many scenes in the film, but uh, the way that... But also the most impactful, I would say. I guess. That's I when you kind of know, or at least get a glimpse of Reggie beyond the persona that he shows, yeah. right? Like, to me, beyond that scene, before that scene, it was just like, oh, he's this happy-go-lucky, yeah. very, like, nonchalant about things kind of a person. But that's where you see the sensitivity of this person. Sure. Did you also see that shift? Yeah, definitely. I think the um, the the ch difference that the Reggie has in, in this film compared to the comics is that there's just more depth to the character. Yeah, yeah. And um, that's a discussion I had with Zoya as well, that there's something more to him hmm. Uh, hmm. than his cockiness and his vanity. And I wanted to kind of um, make sure I'm able to portray that in, a, in, a, in an honest and genuine way. So I had to have that innocence remain hmm. uh, intact 
uh, with all the shebang of the character apart yeah, from it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and this was one of those scenes where you know you see the sensitive side of him yeah. and you see that side that that's caring and and the side of him that would stand up for people His who he cares. Yeah. He cares about. Yeah. And also it was a tricky scene to handle because this was uh, about uh, I mean this topic wasn't really a th- thing of discussion back in the 60s and yeah. this film is set Definitely, in the 60s yeah. uh, people wouldn't talk about uh, their sexuality in the way yeah. they do now I mean it's it's much better than it was before and people are able to come out um, uh, in, in yes. a more like open o- open way and more receiving way now yeah, than yeah. it was then so to handle that scene to keep those things in mind and <clears throat> for me to be it's also a scene where you're basically saying a uh, no to a person that you really care about you know yeah. you're trying to t- tell him that uh, listen i know i understand your feelings for me but yeah without um, sabotaging that relationship without sabotaging you know, that yeah, relationship yeah. that really means something to yeah, reji yeah. he really cares for dilton um so uh, yeah it was a lot of uh, uh, th- things to kind of make sure it yeah because i comes think out. sometimes what seems like the most simplest of scenes on screen i just feel there's a lot that goes behind to make it look look that seamless another scene perhaps was where again yuvraj is sort of like dressed flamboyantly and then there's someone saying that oh we did not know that this is uh, this is this is an invite for yeah, yeah and then you st- take a stand I feel that was again one of those scenes which stood out. Um how do you look at like certain scenes do you as an actor what is your approach to certain scenes when you're in an ensemble? Um do you like to work isolatedly? Matlab meko aisa lag raha hai bahut deep wala question ho raha hai but just as a actor what is your process like? Do you like to work isolatedly like work on your lines and first see that or do you like to work with the group you are going to act? It, uh, it it really depends on the kind of scene it is for me my process is just doing a lot of research work like I, before i come on set i need to be absolutely f- okay. feeling like i'm prepared uh, uh, w- and i don't i don't mean uh, remembering my lines i mean hmm. everything that goes into the character kind of trying to understand where he's coming from i make my whole back story I, i try to kind of you know draw inspiration from certain uh, other performances uh, are, because it's from a time that hmm. that's I wasn't in uh, from the 60s to understand no, that no era person. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so to understand that yeah. era you have to kind of look at things yeah. from the era so looking at certain performances and films from that time helps so then you you embody the the character in a certain way and when it comes to approaching a scene I I would like to do readings but I I, I think uh, I just like to keep it a bit open I don't want to come rigid on set mm. uh, to be able to Uh, receive feedback to be able to uh, match Zoya's vision on the day, yeah, which yeah. may change from you know how things are uh, on paper. So all of those things and just remaining true to the character, I think that's my whole process. And I, I personally, I really enjoy doing readings, mm. and I enjoy. We didn't do that. I didn't do that so much in in Archie's, but I really enjoy doing kind of um, just improv as as the characters uh, with each other. You know, if two characters are doing a scene, this. do a completely yeah. different setting of the two characters in some other space and doing an improv there yeah. you just under you things come out mm. that you don't even think of uh, uh, otherwise which just adds to adds enhances a performance and makes you it know, more true you know when you're even talking i can remember what zoya said that this is one of the most confident bunch of actors i have worked with such young talents and i remember she was all praise uh, for all of you in fact um and i can see why but also when you have a visionary director like zoya on set it can get a bit intimidating at least in the beginning because you know that there's a job to do like you know uh, what was your experience like at least the first day and the last day like what was the difference between the two perhaps uh it was daunting man <laughs> I can imagine. it's not just obviously yeah. uh, zoya is first say such a sweetheart to work with yeah. she she was the one making us comfortable because everything else about the scale of this and and mm. the magnanimity of this uh, magnanimity what's the word yeah, that's you get correct, my point yeah. <laughs> of this was just so daunting and so yeah. scary and uh, you know to come on set f- and we're all new actors so to come on set for the first time first you have to understand all the technical aspects of yeah, things because yeah, yeah. your preparation as an actor it's it's more like about the craft and the feeling and the, and the emotion yeah. involved and so when you come on set and you're like okay but now you have to hit your mark yeah so then you're like you know how to so i the was lighting to, and the like lighting and you have yeah. to catch the light and so you have to you know angle your face a yeah, certain yeah. way and then you just you know you i, I didn't prepare for this <laughs> uh, so i was getting used to b- practical experience so th- that was a lot to learn from and and in general just uh, uh having the pressure of uh living up to this the, uh, an iconic character it's not a character that's new it's it's something true. that people have lived with and seen for a while hmm. so be true to that also 
and uh, yeah i guess i just i went with the flow and the first day and the last day were night and day <laughs> night and day the first day i was nervous i was shooting for that cast announcement yeah, yeah. and it was just the day of us having fun and dancing mm. and and you know kind of more uh, 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 visual just you know not not, not no performance yeah, yeah. and i was so nervous and by the end of it i was getting a hang of it and yeah. i felt more comfortable on set and in my space and and the confidence well it was part of the persona of the character I wouldn't say I was the most confident <laughs> during the time when I was shooting it. I knew it was a. But Reggie is, I think, um, amongst all of y'all, I think Reggie came across as someone who was the most confident. It was. And so like. Yeah, it it came with the territory of the character. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, he needed to be a certain certain yeah, way. Yeah. So were you going around on set also being in that character and being a little like nonchalant and cocky sometimes? It's so. Sometimes? Vi- I mean, I'm not. I wouldn't <laughs> say I'm some method actor, uh, who was uh, you know insolent character off set. But there were certain things like um, I was talking to the rest of the cast about these things and you know certain things that I did hmm. uh, during the time and because I've lived with this character for so long. Yeah, yeah. Feels like most of my adult life has been with Reggie because I auditioned <laughs> when and. I, so it felt like i you know certain things i imbibed from the character and became part of my personality yeah, like i would yeah. sit a certain way and my and my looks would be kind of like this and and I'm th- you know i re- i look back at those things yeah. now and i realize it's not me at all just yeah. the way i spoke um, yeah. when i saw the film for the first time i was like okay i'm, I'm my voice is a bit different and yeah. things you know probably why we all thought that you're edgy yeah like, i mean it's part know. of being an actor you have to <laughs> yeah. be yeah. true to it's your character yeah. yeah i think so i'll yeah. take it as a yeah. compliment but uh, conf- being confident was just you had to uh, yeah. uh, you know being reggie you have to be someone who is so sure of himself mm. and is f- obsessed with himself yeah uh, are you though i really don't think i am <laughs> i really don't think i'm as vain and as as mm. self obsessed as reggie in fact i don't think i mean i have a lot of things that uh, are common with Similar, him yeah. but uh, i'm not very much like him in real life <laughs> no but also um, on set of course you were joining this new cast and everyone is new but also some people come from legacy was there any apprehension whatsoever because sometimes we make it big in our head right like there are preconceived notions that we already have as human beings mm. and then that's a different thing that when you are on set it's a different ball game altogether but did you have those or did you consciously try not to let any of those thoughts come to you uh, i'm a slightly introverted personality okay. so for me meeting new people and being in a new space is anyways a bit intimidating mm. and then yes i did have in the back of my head that you know these are people who hmm. from a certain kind of uh, background Correct. and i don't know how it will be will i be able to be make friends with them and you know b- stuff of like course. that and you know the first day i was thinking oh i don't know how the conversation would be like i'll be a bit awkward and hmm. shy which i would feel and like it's like going to a new school you yeah. know you're you're a bit scared of the first day Correct. so it, it it felt the same way but i think they were all just so welcoming and hmm. we just bonded because it, we were also new and trying to learn together it was such a collaborative Absolutely, like yeah. journey for us and be all all of us being new actors and uh, understanding things together and being on this journey to you know uh, do well together yeah. i think that really added to it and, and not once did i ever feel that um, yeah it's always a different ball game once you are there yeah. to do your job right yeah. uh, i have said this to yuvraj dot everyone so i'm going to say this to you what dancing was that it was so good so smooth like i know it's a lot of effort to be able to pull that off but does dancing come naturally to you in ways or did you really have to dancing was the biggest challenge for me in the film okay because i i don't dance i am not really a dancer so i no think no one will believe that it's so it's so funny because i, I remember my pe- so the only dancing that i've probably done in my life is uh, at shaadis so my parents have seen me dance before that and they matlab they were Uh, convinced that I have two left right. feet. They yeah. were convinced that this will not happen. Okay. And it, it, just because the dancing workshops uh, involved us, it was so extensive. Yeah. Most of the pre-production phase was went in dancing yeah. workshops, yeah. and I, I thought that I really ha- like I can't not do well. So I put so much. I'm genuinely I put so much effort into the dancing because yeah. it, it was also. Still being true to the character, yeah. so I had to kind of uh, imbibe that sixties, the, like, the rock yeah. and roll style, and so I yeah. watched Elvis every night before I went wow. to sleep, and I, you know, try to pick things. Obviously, I can't, but you know, draw inspiration from certain correct, correct. Uh, elements of a lot of other Shami Kapoor, like so many people. I used to just watch and kind of learn from, mm-hmm. and all day at my house, I was in front of the mirror, just trying to perfect my steps, 
and so uh, when your parents finally saw you dance like that especially in wow group i am just like wow this they is couldn't crazy. they couldn't believe it they could not believe it <laughs> is this <And> my son <laughs> they could not believe it but that was the most surprising yeah. thing for them uh but i'm it's this is actually so rewarding because i know like the effort that i want to be able to put out some videos of my first days of can you please I, add that to i'll see video because <laughs> it was awful it was awful <laughs> so that's been like a real yeah. journey for me so i'm glad i'm being perceived this way i think that's fantastic and also i think uh, i mean the thing that i'll take away from this conversation would be that nothing is impossible if you really give in your 100% to it yeah. right yeah, because absolutely. if you're saying that you couldn't dance to a point where you were so like smooth on screen i think that's a huge achievement yeah i mean i had a bit of rhythm because i have come come from a music kind of background yeah. like, so i had a bit of rhythm but no way let's talk about the music bit also yeah, because yeah. i i mean of course i knew that you had a bit of background when it comes to singing because you've also sang in for the album right but i happened to watch a bit of your cover which you have uploaded like four or five i guess on youtube yeah. uh why you and then you stopped it's not like a lot of you were not consistent with that why did you stop like is it not something is it something that you treat as a hobby or do you want to pursue it further it was it was something that i was do, do, uh, doing during college so my i was pretty much invested in getting my degree <laughs> and doing well in studies okay. because i was a very studious kid hmm. uh, so that was my focus in acting and uh, music was happening music is something i've always been passionate about Correct. and i used to perform in school hmm. you know have that band and go for these inter school fests and Correct. inter college Correct. umang and yes. all that so we used to go for those so that's where my love for it came and i used to enjoy singing and 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 playing okay. the guitar and performing so i d- i decided to record a few covers it was n- nothing that i thought of as a career path uh i i really enjoyed doing it and i put some things up and um so i i, I didn't pursue it like religiously yeah. because uh, I, my was focus was college and then when archies happened then focus became acting a little bit well, but, but i it also helped it it helped it yeah. the experience of going on stage and performing i think that really helped yeah. you know getting rid of those nerves and being able to um do something in front of an audience yeah uh, i think that that kind of helped too yeah Okay let's also address one more thing which I was going through all the tweets and they mentioned how heartbroken they are with your uh, with your hair cut <laughs> It's really a thing I didn't even notice before I read all of those things yeah. so tell me a bit like what do you want to tell people who have been like really crazy about this thing The the hair was such a huge part of Reggie's yeah. character yeah. it was half the character course, you know yeah. the the swirl and the twirl yeah, and all yeah, that yeah. so it was it was heartbreaking for me as well I promise you to uh, you know chop yeah. all of it off uh, let's just say it wasn't by choice it wasn't yeah. some stylistic choice i made yeah it's for uh, film and it's okay it's whatever it's for something <laughs> it's for something i can't talk too much about it but yeah. uh yeah it's part of an actor's job i'm willing to kind of if something requires a physical transformation um to be able to you know play a character yeah, i'm all for that so i like how tight lipped you are about your next but i'm very excited for that Uh, whenever it is confirmed uh, great but also i mean i'm sure if you are on social media you must have noticed that comparisons um, of your look with ranveer's were going on the since the day you know the the film dropped how do you take that because when i first saw it honestly i was just like um oh, okay but then i saw the photos like especially from the lutera days and i was just like oh my god you see it yeah and i was just like oh you can't unsee this you know once you see it <laughs> and when someone puts that in your head you're just like oh my god there is actually a bit of similarity how do you take that because it's a huge sort of compliment but at the same time a huge barometer to sort of meet yeah absolutely yeah? i mean it's not like i'm um, i mean it's a huge compliment he's yeah. a very handsome looking man yeah. so i think it's it's fantastic that i'm compared in yeah. any kind of um uh, uh, light uh, with him but i i didn't see it i still don't see it but i guess if yeah. so many people are saying that there must be some truth Listen, to it you must have seen that picture of ranveer from lutera and then you as reggie and it's I don't striking see it. i don't see it but i'm a huge fan i mean he's yeah. just so fantastic and it's it's flattering to be compared to someone like him and he's such a great performer and someone who really gives it his all yeah um uh, for his craft so i can only look up to that Okay so lastly now I want to do of course the archies we have all enjoyed um no actually this is my second last question because I also want to know while there's a lot of love coming in of course but there's also I mean feedback comes in all ways and in all forms right where there are people who 
thought that the film overall could have been better how do you react to that sometimes it can get a bit nasty as well how do you react to all of that because you're all all young you you know how social media works so you, one would believe that you're immune to certain kind of like comments but i know that it's not the case yeah i mean it's human nature to like be you know feel a certain way about certain things but i'm also new to this space so i'm i'm learning uh, uh, day by day but i think i've i've kind of understood that you have to filter out certain things yeah. um you need to understand what's constructive criticism what's uh, you know criticism coming from a place of um genuine like yeah. critique and and not uh, from a place of prejudice and you know so you need to understand that and if you're able to filter that out then i think you can be a bit more content in life because yeah. there's always people hating on everything yeah exactly. you know it's just with the with social media it just comes with the territory and and um i'm still learning i'm also new but i think um, i'll get better with it over uh, time as well yeah. yeah so lastly now you have already ticked mark like one of the major things which most actors have in their bucket list which would be to uh, to be directed by zoya and reema bek which i feel is always in the bucket list for many right now what next is your end over of course there are rumors of you being part of vasan bala's film uh, which is again a tick mark for most people we'll call it rumors <laughs> but uh, i mean every actor when you enter you know that oh these are the people i really want to work with if given a chance maybe not now maybe 5 years from now do you have a list like that and if yes the top 3 if i may know of course you yeah. as an actor you you know you look up to certain films and you you wish that you were part of them and you wish you could work with certain fantastic directors and even i have like there's so many it's hard to name three but obviously there's a there's a bansali everyone in the industry yeah. has to work with them yeah. <coughs> i love uh, motwani's um, work vikramaditya motwani i think he's a fantastic director i really enjoyed jubilee yeah. that i saw recently i like how all of these are period films oh yeah maybe yeah. i have a thing for a period films who knows um uh, and um third one this there's, there's so many fantastic directors um I would love to work with Zoya again to be very honest. Uh, uh Reema didn't direct me so maybe her. Yeah. Um yeah. Lovely. So on that note, thank you so much Vidhan. Thank you for having me. Really thank you so much. Really looking forward to seeing you perform great and do greater stuff. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you for having me.